the viscofluid exchange. When you have a posterior capsular rent or in a case of posterior polar cataracts, do not pull out the phaco probe suddenly because this will lead to an extrusion of the intraocular contents due to the sudden decompression. Hence what you need to do is actually a viscofluid exchange. Example number one after cortical aspiration with a coaxial IA probe, I do an overzealous polishing of the posterior capsule which leads to a rupture of the posterior capsule. The most important thing is not to panic and pull out the probe. Instead, initiate a viscofluid exchange. And this is done in three steps. Step one, turn off the irrigation. Step two, fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic to the side port. And step three, now gently pull out the phaco probe. In spite of this, there is a blob of vitreous presenting at the clear corneal lip. Now why did this happen? In spite of me taking all precautions. This is because when the phaco probe is pulled out of the eye, it leaves a mild gape at the mouth of the clear corneal incision. And this causes an extrusion of the intraocular contents. You can see clearly that when I pull the phaco probe out, there is a disturbance in the internal milieu of the eye. I therefore suggest a modification to the technique of viscofluid exchange. The first and second step are identical. Turn off irrigation and fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic. The modification lies in step 3, is that you secure the clear corneal incision with a cotton bud before pulling out the probe. Press the clear corneal lip with the cotton bud to a count of about 20 seconds. This will seal the clear corneal lip and ensure that there is no extrusion of intraocular contents. This, incidentally, is the best way to perform viscofluid exchange.